Hello. Today we're just going to have a brief look at our new TechRight gas check system. Uh, the main components of our system are the gas valve here, which is fitted with pressure switches on the inlet and the outlet. They're marked appropriately. Your licensed gas fitter will need to know your operating pressure so these switches can be set correctly. Uh, and we've also got our control panel here. This has a fully readable digital display. There's no more sort of flashing lights or indicators to get people confused if they haven't used the system for a while. This uh, is fully readable and very, very simple to use. We might have a quick look at that right now. A couple of the screens that our operators may see uh, include this one here, which we've got no inlet pressure at this stage, so we're waiting on that. We'll just give us some inlet pressure. Okay, we've got inlet pressure. We heard our valve click on for one second. The screen is telling us that we're in cycle one of a possible 10 cycles. We're counting down from 60 seconds on the right hand side there, and it's telling us our outlet pressure is low. Now I'll force that high for the sake of this demonstration. All right, now we've got outlet pressure is okay. This screen is quite simple to read and understand and it makes it very easy for our operators. We've included some pretty handy features in this new design to try and negate some of the issues that the older systems uh, had trouble with. One of these was the uh, power glitch in the middle of the night. Uh, the older systems would have to be reset and restarted and this often caused a lot of trouble. Uh, we built a 0.3 of a second tolerance into uh, this uh, new uh, panel here. Um, 0.3 of a second doesn't sound like much, but those little glitches in the middle of the night that reset your digital alarm clock are uh, generally only a few milliseconds. So that 0.3 of a second is going to negate most of those and, and could possibly stop all of them. Um, the system will know it's had a power glitch, it will immediately look at both the pressure switches, make sure that they're both closed, and if they are, it'll run on regardless, and you'll never know anything happened. Uh, the other thing that we've included here is this red button inside the panel here. This is to extend your purge time to five seconds from one second. If you've got a new fitting line, you've just had a new installation, you need to fill that fitting line, and it's quite a large one. By pressing this, you've got five seconds to fill your fitting line, which is a very handy tool for the installer. Um, we've got it inside the panel because it is for the installers, it's not for the operators. So when your installer's doing all his work here, he can access that. The other thing we've got here is a serial interface port here. Uh, now this could be configured to work with a GSM modem, so you can send uh, text messages to mobile phones in the event of a lockout, or it can be interfaced with a computer system. So these are all new features that we think are, are, are quite valuable. The other thing that you'll not see here is the key on the side. The system can be turned on and off via this or simply by turning the power off and then on again. Um, you can wire any number of emergency stops or smoke detectors, gas detectors, anything you like in series with this supply. If any of those safety devices trip, you cut power to our system here, the valve will shut so gas is cut off. Once those safety devices are reset, the unit gets its power back and then will automatically go through its startup procedure, turn the valve on, and away she goes. Thank you.